Imagine your stomach decides to stop working. Oh yeah, that can happen. Gastroparesis, also known as stomach paralysis, is a chronic condition where the stomach's mechanical activity is greatly reduced. And the solid foods we consume cannot be mechanically digested and pass to our intestines. The symptoms of this will be nausea, vomiting, belching, early satiety and fullness. Pain in the stomach, bloating and eventually weight loss. Now what are the causes of gastroparesis? Diabetes and stomach surgeries are one of the top causes of gastroparesis. We can also find it in hypothyroidism, Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. However, nowadays we are often hearing some headlines. A few individuals who took weight loss medications like Ozempic have reported to have chronic gastroparesis. However, proper management with an endocrinologist would minimize the risks of the adverse effect of these drugs when there is indication to take them. The thing is that these medications cause delayed gastric emptying as one of their mechanisms. However, when overly exaggerated and in long-term exposure, it might lead to adverse effects such as gastroparesis. Adding that, the number of individuals who suffered from gastroparesis from these meds are statistically low. So what are the foods that you can eat if you have gastroparesis in order to reduce symptoms? In mild forms of gastroparesis, smaller and frequent meals are recommended. However, if symptoms don't disappear, liquid food is good to go. Mainly due to the consistency that doesn't require mechanical digestion in the stomach and can easily pass through. But I have good news for you. You can still have ice cream because it turns into liquid into your stomach. So go for it. But liquid foods have also their recommendations. They should be low in fiber and low in fat since fat and fiber delay gastric emptying. Recommendations of these foods are juices without pulp, non-carbonated drinks, low fat milk and smoothies. When you want to have soups, make sure you have liquid soups. Vegetables and fruits have to be without their peels and blended with water or pureed. If you want to have rice or wheat, cream of rice and cream of wheat are good to go. And if you want to have protein, blend them so they have a puree consistency. Just like baby food. Stay away from carbonated drinks. Peels of fruits and vegetables, solid foods, soup with solid parts, and big chunks of proteins, chicken, beef, anything.